today marks a milestone for BC Scrap It. It's 15 years old, and earlier today, the 250,000th vehicle in the program was crushed. Now, Scrap It takes in cars that are from 1996 or older and gives them another life. In exchange for your vehicle, you get a discount on a new car, a transit pass, a rideshare program, or a shiny bike. Jennifer Chen went to the Amex Scrapyard near the Patello Bridge in Surrey, where most of the lower mainland cars in the Scrap It program go for their very last ride. Hi, I'm Dennis Ragoza. I'm the CEO of the BC Scrap It program. I'm Ross Farrell. I'm one of the managers from Amex Salvage and Sales Limited in Surrey, BC. For those who don't know, what is the Scrap It program? It's always been the objective of the program to be an air quality management program. Uh, the idea is to really make a difference in terms of the emissions uh, before and after. We're standing in front of piles and piles of crushed cars of all different colors. Ross, can you describe where we are right now? Right now we're at the entrance where the Scrap It customers would uh, drive their cars in and be greeted by Sharon who's one of our scrap it personnel. What customers have to do, they actually have to drive their vehicle here because what it does show is that the vehicle is fully operational when it comes here. We have to make sure we're taking a viable vehicle off the road that's a super polluter and not really a junker program, right? Ross, what happens to the cars once they come into the yard? Well, we let them cool off for approximately about an hour to two hours so that our staff can work on it without getting burnt because the fluids are hot and the oil's hot and the antifreeze. And then we... Um, remove the battery and the, all the fluids and take the tires off and recycle them and then we flatten the car. And what happens to all the parts that you remove? If we can resell them, then we can. Like tires get recycled and reused is uh, one of the key words. And mercury switches are removed from the vehicles because that can't, can't go back into the environment. Everything else gets run through a shredder, the hulk of the car, that pounds them down to little pieces, about fist-sized pieces. And then from there they go to different foundries all over the world and it's processed into new metal. And come back maybe as a toaster or a new car. <laughs> they make good toasters. Yeah. So my toaster could be a former car of somebody's. Uh, Former Honda Civic. The Scrap It program is really what is called an early retirement program. We retire that old vehicle sooner than it would have otherwise, and we generate environmental benefit because of that. Some of the vehicles that we've tested are, are up to 500 times more polluting. And these are vehicles that we're driving down the road every day. How do you think the program could be improved, Dennis? A lot of people like to have a lot more money for their old car. And if we could offer a higher level incentive, uh, I'm sure we'd have a traffic jam here at Amex right now. We've seen some uh, really nice older cars, but the stuff coming out of the tailpipe is, makes them not uh, viable to keep running on the road. One of the things we find quite interesting is that uh, many people are very emotionally attached to their vehicle. We've seen situations people come here to the Amex drop their vehicle and they're in tears. Some people have left letters in their glove box as a goodbye letter to their car. So there's a whole emotional issue here that you don't see just by, you know, uh, scrapping the metal. I can imagine that it could be hard to really part with something you've been driving for years and years. And I see to our left there are a whole bunch of different car parts piled yeah. up. Yeah, there's a pile of wheels. We take the wheels off and we remove the lead weights. Where are we going now? We're going to walk around to the car crusher. This way. So this is our undercover car processing area. One station we remove the batteries, the tires, at the, the next fancy looking stations that are made out of racks, they actually tilt the car. So when we remove the gasoline out of the fuel tank, it tilts it to one side and we can get almost all of it. Then see right here is where we, after the fluids are drained, we take the car over and we cut off the catalytic converter. And then from that station, they go right into the car crusher and get flattened. We'll show you a car getting flattened in a couple minutes. How many cars do you crush a day? We can process uh, about 200 cars per day. That's because it takes about 12, 15 minutes to process one car. So what's happening with the car right now that's in the crusher? That one's been flattened. So what happens when you put them in the crusher? You need to get two or three in there, and then they, they flatten actually better. So you start with one, and you flatten it, and then you add another one on top. So you can get up to four in. So right now he's going to add one on top of that car. And then he's going to flatten it so you can see. So he's bringing this red band in to add on top of the first car? Yeah, he's going to put it on top of the first crush car, and then he'll crush the band down on top of it. There goes the window blast. Is that the car horn sounding, or is it the... No, that's actually a, a, a fan cooling something, one of the 
engines off when the car crushes. That is the CBC's Jennifer Chen speaking with Dennis Ragoza from BC Scrap It and Ross Farrell at Amex, one of the companies that crushes cars in the program. Today, the Scrap It program crushed its 25,000th car. I'm Lisa Christensen sitting in for Stephen Quinn here.